a little bit like yesterday. We're kind of running late, so we can do the intro once we're back in the car. But here we are, BJ, he's picking up this like seventy dollar order here. Will it be ready? I hope so. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't look like it's ready. It's not good. <sighs> okay, guys. So, man, BJ's do a lot of catering but yeah they gotta get their act together so anyway so i get there you know there was another driver there they're helping him out he leaves and she's like oh i'm packing your packing your order It'll be a few minutes no big deal then she comes out like running trying to get the other driver they forgot to give him one of the trays right she's on the phone with easy cater you know easy cater's kind of like oh well you know we can't get a hold of the driver yeah that or maybe he didn't want to come back i don't know um they're like, well, you know, you can finish the delivery on your own, this and that. And then she she asked me, like, where's your delivery going? And remember how last time I got both the orders from the, for the people at Google or those trailers? It's that same order. But this time I only got one order, even though it's paying 70 bucks, which is awesome. So she's like, is there any way you could take it? This and that. It's going to the same. I know it's going to the same place, you know. And honestly, I'm like, yeah, no problem. Mainly because I wanted her to work with my order, you know. So eventually I get all my stuff, you know, the entire time I've been, you know, talking to deliver support and this and that, so I can get my extra 75 cents for waiting maybe, I don't know, but we definitely waited a while past the uh, pickup time. We got both orders, I know exactly where I'm going though, which is nice, because it's going uh, to Miss Amelia, the same trailer with those dogs from Google, no problem, you know, so, and the other trailer is going for the other lady, I think her name is Chrissy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I was like, you know what, I can take it, it's not a big deal, you know, I can't really argue for extra pay, because it's not really anything to do with delivery, it's a separate order, you know, but again, I just wanted to get it over with, basically, because I feel like I was wasting so much time just waiting, you know, so, and it's not even that far, we're only five minutes away here from the drop-off to Trailer City, what a fitting name, Trailer City, because nothing but trailers there, so, Anyways, we'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, could not get any drop-off action. As soon as I parked, the la both ladies were waiting for me. One that was my actual customer and the lady from last time that I came here. Um, so I said, hey, this is the bag they gave me for your order. Um, and that was that. And then as I'm walking towards the other trailer, and I forgot the camera in the car, so I couldn't really go back and be like, well, let me pick up my camera. You know, she was calling the other lady who was saying, hey, I'm missing some other stuff. If you have it, let me know. And then she asked me, well, is that everything? And I'm like, I even asked her to label what was for her so I wouldn't get confused. So if anything's missing, they never gave it to me. She's like, oh, it's okay, no big deal. And then I was asking her about the dogs. She's like, so the dogs are from the employees. So she's like, yesterday was the first time we had no dogs, but today we have two dogs. And it had this beautiful, beautiful golden retriever and like a really, really good looking pit bull. Super nice, super friendly, so dropped off the order she's like oh maybe we'll see you next week we order every thursday she's like next thursday i think i'm gonna order from outback and this and that and i'm like oh hopefully you know because last time she ordered from the one pizza place um but you know what i do like about zifty a little bit more than delivered is that with zifty when you go to pick up the items you can see what the actual items are you know with delivered you, you don't see anything you just have the order number and that's basically it unless i'm mistaken which is also a possibility but now here we are living leaving but can't even talk leaving trailer city what a fitting name for this place nothing but trailers construction um security is pretty tight though for sure but almost i said i'm delivering for so and so shut on my phone They're like okay no problem the guy gave me directions even though i kind of already knew where i was going um but definitely it can definitely be confusing like if you don't know where you're going or like if you have maybe like a language barrier it could be real real tough to figure out where you're going because yeah but Anyways, we got the order dropped off. Now we're 25 minutes away here from Reston, which is where we're going next. You know, I was kind of hoping to, you know, get another order here, either from Zifty or Delivered. There were a couple that were pretty decent, but again, the, the times coincide, so I really can't do it, you know, so. Anyways, if we get something along the way, I will most definitely let you know. But as of right now, we're sitting around almost 70 bucks. Actually, you know what? Let me see. I think we're going to get paid an extra 70 cents for waiting like we did last time. Let me see here. If I can pull out my delivered app real quick. Earnings. Okay, so we got 69.27. Let me see here. 
Okay, no, I got a dollar and fifty cents for waiting. Hey, we'll take it. Sixty nine twenty seven in the bag. One really quick order. Uh, and now we're making our way here to the town center. Again, the plan is just like yesterday. Probably gonna stay until like one, one thirty, and then go home. You know, pick up my daughter from school, spend a little time, a little bit of time with her, and then come back out. So that's the plan for now. I am feeling a little bit better, although like the back of my throat hurts, but you know, it is what it is. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys, we here we are back in Reston, and we're gonna go to Chick Fil A here. You're just paying like seven and some change for like three miles. Not the greatest order, but not a bad order. Plus, I got the order when I was still kind of far away from the zone. So I figured, why not? There's a lot going on here. A lot of cars, lots of parking issues. This guy here with the dumpster truck being real weird, driving real slow for no reason. Are they ready though? Will the food be ready? Let's see, let's see. Hope so. Welcome. Let's see here. Hello. Just picking up for Ashley. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, got the order picked up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you too. Oh, by the way, today is beautiful, guys. It's probably like I don't know, 71 or something like that, with a little wind. Whew, perfect. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the Gigmobile. Guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this sort of dropped off. I wanted to show you, this is another business, another office building that has a dedicated Grub Hub like shelf. So let's see. 10th floor. Going down. There's like no space to put them. So let's see. Okay, guys, we're leaving the parking garage so you saw me drop off the order. So what I was trying to say, I don't know if you heard me or not, because the elevator was so loud. This building, just like the other one, has their own little Grubhub shelf. So I think maybe Grubhub is really catering to like big employers. Hey, you know, place your order through Grubhub. It's probably free or free delivery or free something, you know? Um, now we're going, whoa, this was flying through the parking garage. Bro. What is wrong with you? Jeez. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, okay, we're gonna go to Chipotle now, and then we're coming right back here to the same building. But if you saw that shelf, the shelf's full of food, just like the other one at the other place. Hold on, this one should be my license plate, so I don't have to worry about putting my window down. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so I wonder if people just order, or maybe they give their order to somebody and then it gets placed. I don't know. But if you saw that shelf was full of food, and the guy couldn't even find, couldn't find his own order, so. Anyways, we're making our way here to the other Chipotle. Hopefully the food's ready. This is that Chipotle that isn't the greatest. Like last time I was there, they're like, oh, we're not gonna make the order because you know we don't have a, we don't have the receipt. You sign our computer, this and that. So yeah, when we got two dollars from Grubhub. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, here we are at Chipotle. Will the food be ready? I sure hope so. By the way, current time is 12:13. Beautiful day here in Virginia. Let's see if it's ready. Glad that I'm feeling better. This is the last couple of days, low energy, you know. But you gotta, you gotta push through. You know what I mean. So let's see if it's ready. this one let's go it was ready at first i was kind of not sure but then i'm like katia is not the most common name out there you know so i was like it has to be her because the problem is like the rest of the name on the printer is kind of like blurred or like it doesn't print properly or whatever so we're just gonna hope that it's the right one i mean i'm pretty sure it is but i'm not 100 percent you know so <laughs> yeah anyways we're making our way back here to the same building we're just in only a five minute drive. Um, you know what would be cool though? Since these people are ordering from the same place anyways, it'd be nice if like, I'm sure people order from the same places. If they would just give you those, like a batch order of the same drop off address, you know? Because you're gonna go there anyways. Oh jeez. 
anyways, we'll see you guys. And if you I think after this, we're gonna be what, like in the mid 80s, maybe? I think so. Let's go, guys. So we're leaving the garage, right? We're leaving the um, the place here. We did that order from Chipotle, and then I realized my front right tire is really low. Like I mean, like really low. So I, you know, I have a little air pump thing. I plug it in. Literally no psi, right? I, I'm cracking it up. Maybe it gets to like I don't know, 25 psi. Next thing you know, I hear that. Now on the inner wall, in the, in, on the in the inner side tire wall of my of the tire, front right tire, is like a big asshole because I can hear the air. So now we're gonna make our way here to the tire place. I think I can make it. I'm not that far, um, but we're definitely not gonna go fast. None of that stuff. Um, come on, come on, open up. There it is. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of annoying. But you know what happens? Car stuff is gonna happen. It is what it is. So now we're making our way here to my tire, my tire guy. So it's maybe like a 15 minute drive. Again, you know, we're just gonna go real slow. Um, I try to put some air in it, but it just all comes out. But it's also, it's, it's holding enough that it's not like the rim is on the ground or anything, but it's also like not great, so. Yeah, there go the earnings for the day, you know? Plus I'm already gonna be there, so I'm gonna have them just check all the tires, might as well, you know? But uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys So hey Guys, so we're still making our way here to the tire shop. And you know what I'm thinking? It either happened on the way to the pickup uh, or at the construction site, because it is a construction site. But I'm thinking, see, when I was on the highway, there was a, you know, like those trucks that always have like a bunch of like, you know, crap falling out of them, like, uh, you know, construction, or like little debris, little, little pebbles. I know for a fact, a couple of them hit my car because the car, the guy was far away, but I could see the pebbles flying. And at that, at that speed, you know, if it hits at the right angle, it could, you know, do a little puncture, a little, little hole on the tire. So, I don't know. That's just my guess. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It happened. It is what it is. We're on the road a lot. So, you know, I'd rather happen. I'd rather have it happen now during the day than happen at night or happen, you know, I don't know, on a holiday when everybody's closed, things like that. Uh, if, it, if, if it was holding air, like if it had a nail and it was in, in the, and it was just holding the air, I would just keep it there and then plug it at work because we got a bunch of plug kits for free. But this is not holding any air. You know, like it, it all literally came out like so. And I can already feel it when I'm driving. Like it's, you can feel a flat tire when you're driving. Uh, but we're only two miles away. So I'm really hoping it holds on because if not, that would totally suck. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, let's go. Hey guys, so we are leaving here the tire shop. It's like clusterfuck, for lack of a better term right now. I'm backing up and it's all these people behind me. So we got two new tires, two front tires. No, not new, new to me. Paid 125 bucks. So I guess we're negative for the day. You know, it is what it is kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let me back up and then, you know, we'll talk in a bit because I want to focus on my backing up here. So, hey guys, we are leaving the tire shop right now. Uh, it is 1.30, so we're gonna go home, uh, spend some time there, and then we're gonna go pick up my daughter from school, and we're gonna come back out. But I guess we're negative now, we're negative, what, $40 or negative 50, whatever it is, it happens. It is what it is, um, kind of thing. But on the bright side though, one of my tire pressure sensors has been broken for a little bit, which is why I probably didn't realize that my tire was so low. Uh, but now that they swapped the tires out, it's fixed, nice. But yeah, so you know, new to me tires, the, the ones in the back are good. The, the two front ones are great. So hopefully, you know, we don't have to worry about tires for, for, a, for a while, you know. But like I said, I trust these guys that go there all the time, you know. Uh, I think, of course, ideally you want to buy new tires, right? But I know for a fact that these good, these used ones are good, you know. And this is more of a work vehicle, really. So I don't really need new, new. You know, as long as it works and it performs well, no problem. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a couple hours. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are technically back outside, but nowhere near the zone. So somebody pulled a fire alarm on my daughter's school. So of course, firefighters came, it was a whole ordeal. So yeah, and I'm stuck behind another school bus. But yeah, I mean, it's basically like a, you know, someone just pulled the fire alarm, I don't know if it was a kid or not, but you know, of course, I gotta take it seriously. So instead of, you know, picking her up at four and leaving at four, we left like at 4.20 or something. 20 minutes after but it's so good that we're back outside again we're making our way here to the zone today though way different i have a meeting here oh come on do not tell me this is another bus stop what 
this bus just stopped like not even a minute ago. I'm not even I haven't even recorded for a whole minute yet. It had just stopped when I started recording. Now it's stopping again. But yeah, we're only gonna work till like 6:30. I got a meeting at 7 here with people at work. So short little day. Hoping to make at least $125. I think we're sitting around 82, 83, I think. So I'm not asking for the world here. But yeah, we shall see you guys on the first one. By the way, the school bus right here literally had just stopped a second ago. Like maybe not a second, but you know, a few seconds. Now we're here waiting behind the school bus. Yikes. Let's go. Okay, guys, been a minute. Okay, so we got back on. Well, not back on. We got back into the zone. I uh, got a call from Mrs. Nova. Got an order when we were talking on the phone. Did not record anything from Umani Ramen, I think is what it's called. It's taking some change, three miles, made it back here to the town center. We got our next order here from McDonald's, 725. I think it's like three miles, maybe. I'm just taking whatever comes my way because I'm running out of time. I'm only really going to work till like 630. I don't like being like late to meetings. So that means at seven, I want to be there like around 645, 650. Um, so basically, I only have until about 630. So. Yeah, I think after this we'll be close to being around hundred dollars. So there's that. Let's go in the McDonald's parking lot. And before the workers would leave the bags facing basically the counter. So anybody could see the numbers and be like, hey, I'm picking up for you know number one, two, three. You know? And I think a lot of people were stealing food. So all they did was put the bag backwards so you don't see the number. You know, which I guess is a smart idea, but at the same time I'm like do people really steal food like that? I think the easiest place to this day to steal food uh, as a as a fake delivery uh, driver, I think it probably still is Chipotle. I think Chipotle and what else? Maybe a place like Street Green when the food's just sitting there sometimes. Um, not that I've stolen food or anything, but I'm just assuming. To, or you know what? Which one's pretty easy too, I would say? Uh, and pizza because when you go to and pizza they have a, a screen like a bunch of tvs and it tells you the name of the customer and if it's ready or not you know so you can just be like okay i'm gonna pick up the order for marco you know um uh, but yeah they're just random it just came to my mind um i've uh, never stolen food never had to you know what i mean i've gotten free food either through a canceled order or you know sometimes you kind of befriend the people that work at certain restaurants and whatnot but i've never had the need to steal food like Anyway, it's current time at 610. We're five minutes away from the drop-off. Let's go. Last order dropped off, and here we are, Super Chicken, picking up the last order of the day. With the name, I definitely cannot pronounce. Yeah, can't pronounce this. Let's see here. Hello. Tengo una orden para U. No sé cómo pronunciar ese nombre. Tafa. Yeah, uh-huh. Ese. Okay, it's fine, gracias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna wait for that. I'm telling you, this, this name right here, impossible to pronounce. Okay guys, we got the food picked up here from Super Chicken. Um, I don't know if you heard the conversation uh, back and forth about the customer's name. I'm not, I'm not making fun of the customer, first of all, let me say that. If someone gets triggered, I'm just saying it's hard to pronounce, so I typically just show them the name so they can match it with the receipt, no big deal. And then I ended up getting like a Peruvian dessert, arroz con leche, which is basically rice pudding. Um, I think it was like three bucks, which isn't super expensive, but it's also not cheap either. But you know, we're almost there two minutes out, and then I'm gonna go have this meeting for my W2. That's it. I know we're gonna crack a hundred, barely though, but we cracked a hundred. Although technically we spend more money today than what we made. But it happens. Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta splurge on certain things here for the gig mobile. You know, and tires, definitely one of them. It's unfortunate that it happened, you know, especially with a puncture in the inner wall, you really can't fix that. So I have to get another tire, but yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, I forgot to say, remember to like and subscribe. I'm almost here at the W2. Today was basically derailed by the fact that, you know, we have to get some work done on the car. Last minute it happens. But if not for that, I think we would have had a, a much better day for sure. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Remember to like and subscribe like I just said a second ago, so I said it again. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.